Hello. In part 3 of this tutorial I showed you how to split the content of the index page into multiple files and how to organize them in an intuitive way. This part of the tutorial will introduce a key element that will allow you to completely replace the webpack functionality like import and export statements with a simple trick. The trick is to load the content of the required files in the right order inside the index page. Using script tag it will not work because the files will not be loaded correctly in order for view to properly read them. Also we want to support the older browsers like Internet Explorer 11 which is not supporting HTML5 syntax. In order to do that we have two options. First option is to use an HTML helper HTML.raw and load the content of each file. Let's try that. In the index page add the following code to load the corresponding files. Now that you've finished adding this code, run the application and check if the view app is still functional. Try it out by modifying the text in the input text box. Stop the application. The code we wrote allows the view application to function correctly even though we don't use webpack and import and export statements. Take a look at this code in the index page. It looks complex, isn't it? Kind of hard to remember all that syntax. So, let's simplify it by introducing a second way to load those files. In the models directory, let's create a new class named helpers.cs. This will contain an HTML helper that will be used to load the files. This helper is simply opening the specified file, reads the content and returns the content as an IHTML string, same as the HTML.raw. Now that we have this helper, we can use it directly in Razor by calling HTML.load file instead of HTML.raw. In the index page, add a using statement pointing to the model's namespace, in this case pointing to web application 1.models. Replace the code with this one. The final code in the index page will now look like this. Isn't this easier to read and to remember? Let's test the new helper. Start the application and you'll see that it is still working the same way. Alright. In this part of the tutorial we learned a simple trick that will replace the webpack by eliminating the need to use import and export statements. In the next part of this tutorial I will show you how to use a separate template file for the view component.